Hey guys, welcome back. O2 and Shan GBG. Guy vs. Gal it is Omar and Ari. Hi. <laughs> back there, so we are here for another science experiment. This time, we are looking at the electrical conductivity of compounds dissolved in water. So that's next on the list. So we are gonna get right into it. We're gonna tell you what you're gonna need and show you what the outcome is. And Kayla's probably behind me doing weird things, but we'll continue on anyway. You ready? Here we go. All right, so first up, the first step, Ari, is for you to add 80 milliliters to the 100 milliliter beaker. All right, and this has to be distilled water. Not your regular tap water, not the water that's purified in a bottle, just your regular distilled water. That's good, it's on the outside. We have a little residue. All right, having some challenges. All right, so just 80 milliliters. You wanna spill it? It's okay. It's just like pouring a glass of water. So that's 100. Are you at 80? You're nowhere near 80 if that's 100 milliliters. Uh oh, you're right at 80. I guess I was wrong. All right, good job. Wait, Next step. That, uh, mm, 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 mm. All right, it says if your wires are insulated, strip the insulation off of each wire so that the wire end, where am I at? Oh, two centimeters of bare wires at all ends. When that is done, attach one wires end to the post. So in our science kit, we actually already have the complete setup, if you look here. So if you didn't have the complete setup, I guess we could take it out and show you. You would have to strip wires and connect them to your battery and also to some other things. Now you can buy your uh, this wiring. As you see, let me see if you can see that. Let's pull it back a little bit. See how it's already stripped for you? You can buy these from Radio Shack or um, some other electronic store. So they're already pre-made for you, which makes things 3,000 times easier. So that's what your wire with the stripping looks like. Of course, you have this piece here, which is a connector for your battery. All right, so what we're gonna do is check it out. So how's this supposed to be set up? So take our battery. You're gonna take this, which piece? This piece here. Or maybe this piece. Hmm. Which one's which? I think it's this piece. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright, you're gonna connect that to your battery. And they're gonna connect. Oops, I guess I should show. You're gonna connect that to your own post. Snap it on, flip it around. Small goes in big, big goes in small. Oh my goodness. I have some complications here. I was like, that doesn't work. Alright, let me see what you got. All right, so we have that, as you see. The, oh, Yoshi's walking around. You got the battery connected and you have your wires exposed on the end here, okay? All right, so the picture kind of shows you what we're gonna be doing. So, it says, once each wire is attached to its own battery post, immerse the other ends of the wire into the water containing your glass beaker. Make sure the ends do not touch each other. In the end, your experiment should look something like the drawing below. All right, so bring your water over here. And you're gonna just set your battery up. All right, so spread them apart so they're not touching. Good. See what you got here. All right, so as you see, they're spread apart. There was some issues with the battery standing up, but they're spread apart, they're not touching. Okay, interesting, I don't know where we're going yet. It says, watch the bare ends of the wires closely for a little while. Okay, so we're supposed to watch the bare ends. Tell me if you see anything happening. <coughs> anything? Nothing? Are we supposed to see nothing? See, this is where I get confused. I'm like, oh, am I supposed to see something? Huh? You see anything? Is something supposed to happen? No. Mm -mm. Not either. Nothing exciting happens, right? Oh. <laughs> All right, so nothing's happening. We're not crazy. So it says nothing exciting happens, right? 
All right, next step. So Ari's recording her observations. Just gonna state that nothing happened. Oh, I forgot. Did I, did I go over all the ingredients? I don't think I did. Let me take a step back. Goggles. Uh, electrical tape. You can use Gorilla Tape. That's what we have here, the black Gorilla Tape. We have baking soda. Of course, I already showed you the battery. You need sugar, distilled water, and a teaspoon. And then your 100 milliliter beaker. I'm sorry, I forgot to do that. I think I started and got confused. All right, so now move the wires from the water, or remove, excuse me. So take them out. And you're gonna add half a teaspoon of baking soda to the water and mix it around. All right, so half a teaspoon of that baking soda there, Ariana. This is going to be exciting. Are you excited? Uh. Something crazy gonna happen? Uh-oh, Ari's having a hard time. I guess she doesn't make it. Oh, here we go. Half a teaspoon. That's, that's perfect. All right, you're gonna mix that around. The water should be cloudy at first, but the undissolved baking soda will eventually settle and the solution will be relatively clear again. So mix it around. All right, and just let it sit. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for about 15 seconds to let it settle. And then we're gonna stick the wires back in and see what happens. I'm excited about this one. I want to see some happenings happening. All right, did the baking soda settle to the bottom? Mm -hmm. All right, so do the same thing again. Go from the other side so I can see, yeah. There you go, let's see if we can. Oh, look. Very cool. All right, so it's fizzing. So the baking soda is interacting with the battery or the electricity being generated from the wires that's going to get to the battery. Did you think that was going to happen? Mm -hmm. I had no idea what was going to happen. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. We love us some science. Very nice. Oh, almost broke it. Let's see what it looks like from the top. Marie's writing down her observations. Children, of course, write down your observations so you'll remember when you go back to this data what was occurring. All right. So, says, why is the bubbling happening? You'll learn in physics that when electricity is conducted, particles called electrons move from one end of the battery to the other. This motion contains a lot of kinetic energy. The way we have set the experiment up, the electrons must travel through one wire, okay, through the water and through the other wire to reach the other end of the battery. When this motion takes place, some of that energy can be given to the individual water molecules. Under the conditions of this experiment, the kinetic energy generated by the electricity is enough to cause the water to decompose into hydrogen and oxygen, its constituent elements. Since hydrogen and oxygen are gases, they form bubbles at the ends of the wires. For this energy to exist to begin with, electricity must be conducted. Since pure water cannot conduct electricity, nothing happens when you immerse the wires in the pure water. However, when you dissolve the baking soda in the water, it became able to conduct electricity. This means that baking soda must be an ionic Compound. All right. Okay, so we're gonna repeat the same experiment with sugar. And we're gonna see if sugar can conduct electricity like baking soda. All right, so just rinse that beaker out. Um, I would take a, uh, maybe get a napkin and wipe those wire ends off. So what do you think's gonna happen? Give me your hypothesis, Oriana. What is your hypothesis? Um. I don't think anything's gonna happen. She doesn't think anything's gonna happen. You don't think sugar is an ionic compound, okay? Let's see if you're right. So we're gonna pour that out. Do, 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 do. You're gonna fill it back up with 80 milliliters of distilled water. And then we're gonna put half a teaspoon of sugar in that bad boy. 
You can drink the sugar water if you want to. Mm -hmm. cool. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sugar water. I love sugar water. It's like Kool Aid. Just put a little flavor in there and bam. Sugar water. Cheese and jelly sandwiches. You ever had that? Mm -hmm. Used to watch this guy named Paddington Bear and he used to eat cheese sandwiches. So I used to put cheese and she just poured the water back in, which is something you should not do. Don't do that because the glass is now going to contaminate the water. You just pour that in the sink. Alrighty. So now half a teaspoon of sugar. And waloof. Mix that around for about 10 seconds. And let it sit. Oh, it's fine. It's not going to dissolve. It'll stick to the bottom. All right. Let's see what happens. It's going to explode. Be careful. Whoa, look at that. You see it? Mm -hmm. Nothing's happening. <laughs> All right. So sugar apparently is not in an, I can't even say it right, ionic compound. All right. So that is actually the end of the experiment. We're just testing to see which compounds interact with the electricity from the battery. And we learned that so far, only baking soda. Well, here's a question though. Why do we have the Gorilla Tape? I think you were supposed to tape the battery. Oh, you know what? You only needed that, yes. If you had to get wires that were exposed, you see how they have it taped together already for you? So the wires aren't just dangling everywhere. That's what the Gorilla Tape or the uh, the black electrical tape would have been for. So we didn't need to use that since we had it already set up. So very, very convenient here. What do you think about that experiment? Oh, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, guys. We're Tuition and GVG Guy Briscoe. Another little homeschool science experiment gone awry. Actually, it worked out great. We'll see you guys next time. Sayonara. Bye.